taught to us by Imam Al A'zam Abu Hanifa, who said, "A'lamu nas, a'lamuhum bi nas." The most knowledgeable person is the one who is knowledgeable of the differences amongst the scholars, because that person is going to keep the unity of the Muslims and understands that these are differences which are allowed and natural, and not use it to create a new group or to divide or weaken the ranks of the community. We take this from the important hadith found in Bukhari. The Prophet ﷺ said, None of you should pray Asr till you reach Bani Quraidah. The Sahaba on the way, the time of Asr started to go out. So some of them, they prayed and others said, No, 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 we're going to stick to the letter of the law. The Prophet did not correct either of them. In fact, it was as though both of them were correct. And we learn from this hadith that issues of ishtihad and fiqh allow differences. And this is the majority of the issues of Islam. So be careful when you're fighting and arguing to make sure you're not fighting and dividing over issues where differences are allowed.